All right, uh, welcome. Uh, happy Friday. Happy Friday, Chief. Happy Friday. I hope you get a little more energy. I, I got coffee. Rest this yeah, I'm weekend. good. I'm, I'm good. flying. I'm just like, I'm <laughs> vibrating. Uh, today's the 18th, Friday the 18th, quarter of 10. 10. Thank you. Thank you. Um, hope you have a good weekend plans. It's going to be warm here. There'll be a ton of people in the village. Uh, it's, the streets are already filled. It's incredible. Yep. It's bizarre. A couple of notes. Um, first of all, we created a new, a new link on our website this week. Thank you to uh, Britt and Brandon. It is a, uh, it's an interest list. So if you have an interest in a particular topic um, that eventually one of the boards or commissions or council will discuss, you can check a box and you will be emailed uh, agenda reports and information as an item becomes a topic for discussion. If you're interested in uh, design review or public works or bidding or public safety, mm -hmm. whole, a whole litany of things is a huge list. Um, please go to our website and again, we'll ensure that you get information. It's, so it's just one other way of us uh, being available, providing education and outreach to the public. So again, thanks to, um, to Britt and Brandon uh, for the topic lists uh, of interest checklist. Uh, we also have on our website, there's been some mythology in the community lately that we don't have any kind of a helpline. Uh, we've had a helpline on our website since we created it. So again, if you see something that needs maintenance in the village, a missing sign, a broken tree limb, uh, you can either call, of course, uh, we have people answering the phones uh, now, mm -hmm. uh, or you can go to our website to report a problem. Uh, you can upload a photograph and we will address it. So again, another, one other way of uh, the public being able to access and provide information about an item that needs maintenance in the city. And then you'll get an email back when it's fixed. So um, that's pretty, pretty helpful. I met with uh, Neil Hotelling today, and Neil was uh, the intellectual property rights uh, director for Pebble Beach Company, and I think the director of golf as well for many, many years. Uh, Neil writes the history beat in the Pinecone every week. It's a great I find it, I, I'm just, I'm intrigued by it every week. Um, it's, it's really fascinating. And he's visiting from Florida. Uh, welcome, Mr. Hotelling and Mrs. Hotelling. They're staying in Carmel Woods for a month, Chief. And uh, I wanted to give a shout out, a thanks to Katie O'Connell from Local History. Uh, Katie, uh, Katie helps Mr. Hotelling on a regular basis with images and uh, facts and figures and, uh, and research, quite frankly, to help him write his article. So Katie, great work in spite of the pandemic, getting information out. So um, thank you so much, uh, Katie, and welcome, Mr. Hotelling. Uh, look for our next coffee walk, but I'm not going to drink coffee next time, obviously, because uh, I'm a little jittery. And then uh, the last item I have, Chief, is that the regular city council meeting this month is on July 6th. I think we're closed on the 5th. I, I think know. city office, so, so Independence Day is Sunday the 4th. Uh, and, and the 5th, uh, I think the offices are closed, and then we've got a regular meeting. The only item we have of significance on the regular council meeting in July is uh, direction from the council on, on pension, our pension liability. So what to do with the million dollars that uh, the council approved in our budget last week, and we will appropriate as of July 1st. So again, how to, um, how to, how to invest or spend that money. So that's what I got flying Great. along. All right, thanks. Passing it to me. Uh, big news, next Tuesday, we're gonna have a wildfire uh, preparedness talk at the Forest Theater. It'll be at 5.30, Tuesday, June 22nd. So Tuesday night. We are gonna test our fire siren on top of the fire station. Uh, that's gonna be an alerting system. So I just wanna get that out. If you just let everybody know we're gonna be testing it, it's not an actual alarm, but we want to make sure our community is yeah. aware of it, what it is and what it's for. If you can come to the Forest Theater, it's going to be a great talk mm -hmm. it's because I'm going to be there. Yeah. The fire chief's <laughs> going to be there. Yeah. We're going to have the public works director there. He's always funny. I've got the county coming because they're going to do our alerting system, which is alert, alert Monterey County org. So we'll actually do an alert to show everyone how it works. Uh, we'll have our cert team there. We'll we'll it's just it's going to be a big event. So Please come out. Uh, it's outdoors, so plenty of air. It'll be a, a good talk. It should go for about an hour, hour and a half. Yeah, it's going to be. It's great. It, it kind of follows on what you and Miss Volmer did last week at the Forest Theater. But again, this is specific to uh, we're in a drought uh, drought uh, cycle again, 
in California. Uh, the fire maps show that um, a lot of our state is extremely dry, so we just want to be prepared yep. and share with the public how you can prepare as an individual private property owner and, again, what we've done, of course. So we, we can highlight that. Yep. Of, of interest, Chief, I met with uh, Supervisor Adams, District 5 Supervisor Adams yesterday, as well as the District 5 mayors, Mayor Potter and Mayor Peak and Mayor Roberson, et cetera. And uh, Chief Panholzer is preparing or is in, in, in the process of preparing a fire defense plan for all the jurisdictions covered by Monterey Fire. Thank you, Chief. And uh, Pebble Beach has one. It was originally drafted in 1988. We can make it available if you want to see Pebble's plan. But obviously, fire doesn't respect uh, uh, political boundaries. So again, we want to be in coordination with our neighbors, and we're real, we're real enthused to have uh, have that drafted. So anyway, I'll stop talking now. It's interesting that plan was drafted right after the Pebble Beach fire. Yeah, 1987. Yeah, yeah, yeah. A year later. So uh, yeah, that's kind of interesting. It's Speaking been updated. of history. Speaking of history, exactly. <laughs> we should have Mr. Hotelling write an article, you know, a piece on this. Yeah, it's been updated about a dozen times. Uh, about every couple of years, the last update was in April of 2019. Great. Yeah. Nice. Um, beach fire signs. We ordered signage for the beaches. We're going to post those hopefully later today. They're coming in. And those just redefine our current regulations regarding beach fires to help educate the public so we can keep uh, fires from happening on the sand and keep them in the city contained uh, yeah. receptacles. Don't don't rip them down and light them on fire or take them home, please. Please, please. Um, in our continued effort to reopen, as, the, as you, the, the state got rid of the mask ordinance earlier this week on the what, 15th, yeah. um, OSHA is now relaxing a little bit more on the, the workers, but we're, we're not quite there yet. Yeah. We're working on that. But we've reopened our police department, so the lobby's open. So if you need any assistance, you're welcome to come in. We're open regular hours, same as City Hall now. Hey, that's it. That's all I have. That's all I have. I have, I have nothing else to say. Enjoy the weather. Have a great weekend. Yeah, take care. Take care.